Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys what's on my iPhone 13 and this video is going to be a long one because I have literally covered each and every aspect of what's on my iPhone, even the editing apps that I use to create a beautiful aesthetic and all the interesting apps that I have. So I suggest you guys that you get yourself some snack because you all would need it. Let me give you guys a quick look of what my iPhone looks like from inside. It's an aesthetic blend of brown, nude and pink shades and I never really thought that I would mix the pink shades with the brown and nude but it all actually looks kind of nice and I think I'm gonna stick by it for a long time and this is how my lock screen looks like. So I'm gonna skip the first and the last widget on the screen and explain it later at the end of this video and in the reminders widget I'm gonna show you guys how we can change the color of this widget. So we're gonna click on three dot icon and then we're gonna choose show list info and here we can see that we can change the colors of the widget and a lot of people don't really know it so I had to share with you guys and now you can see that it's changed to dark pink but I like the light pink better because it goes with the aesthetic of my phone and this is how it looks and the next widget I just told you guys I'm gonna explain it at the end of the video but I'm gonna show you that what is it like it's comprised of three pictures which keep on changing at the regular intervals and they are like motivating quotes or words which are nice reminders for your mind and then on the next page I have kept very practical widgets which are like calendar the time the weather and the people whom I call very frequently so these all are the widgets from the iPhone itself so you don't really need to install anything for it and then on this page I have all the apps by iPhone itself. Nothing extra is there and here we have the main screen where I have made folders and put apps in those folders and they are really grouped and nice so let's get started. The first app on my self-care section is called Headspace. It's a meditation app and I really really swear by it. There is not ever a single day that I don't really use this app. Even if it's just for two minutes, I do meditate. It's been really good for my mental health and this app has been life changing. The second app that I have is called Gratitude and I use it to make my gratitude list and I have talked about this app before and what how I use it is that I wake up in the morning and then I make a list of five things that I'm really grateful for and this app also gives you prompts to think about that what you are grateful for in that category of your life which is a great thing. I do both of the things. I make lists and I answer the prompt also. And then I have Muda. It's a mood tracking app and I have been using it for a long time. And I love it because with this, I do really keep a track of my mental health, like how I have been doing. So you click on this plus icon and then you have all these modes to choose from. And they're really cute and this app is like so adorable that it makes you come back and use the app and overall it has also been good to me like it has been really really nice to keep tabs on what I am feeling throughout the days and the weeks if I'm really doing good and if I'm not doing good that what can I do to make myself feel better and this is how this app has been really really useful. And then the next app that we have is called Three Good Things, which I use at the end of my day, along with Muda. Like, I take 10 to 15 minutes to use both of these apps. In Muda, I track the mood, and this one, I make a list of three things that I am grateful for and how they made me feel. And you can also change it to the five things if you want, but three things are like really short and simple. So the next app that we have is called Forest and a lot of people have talked about this app, but still I'm going to give you guys a quick introduction to it. So this is like a focus timer app uh, in which you can set a timer from 10 minutes to 120 minutes. And while your timer runs, a tree or a plant grows. And once your timer ends successfully, a fully grown tree or a plant is formed and becomes a part of the forest. And my forest is not very dense right now because I have not really used this app for a long time. But I hope it's much more dense in 2022. So these are the plants or trees that I own. And also if you end the timer before the supposed time, then your tree or plant would die and you don't really want that and I think this is the main motivation of people which keeps them really going and I really really love this app for this 
and next going to the references folder and this is the first app that I have here it's called emote icon and this is like this is very cute emote icons which you can copy from here and paste on your text messages and it's they're like really aesthetic you know the Korean emojis and aesthetic emote icons and you don't really find them anywhere and if you do you have to go to the websites and you have to copy and paste but these are like really nice you just have to open the app you have to copy from here and just one single tap and then you can paste it anywhere so this next app is like a really fun app you know sometimes we come across slangs on internet and we're like oh what does it mean and sometimes you're like not in that generation which uses that slang and you're like what does it mean well urban dictionary is something which will help you a lot in understanding those slangs or terms which are like really trending in the new generation right now so for example this is the term called Zakak, which is literally a person who is still on Facebook even after all the privacy concerns and this is like uh, you know yeah with a red heart which doesn't really means uh, what we think it means it just means totally something else for the current and the new generation and this is like a slang it's not a slang it's like some kind of expression which I really really loved and I saved it to just use it on someone later on in texting it would be really really fun it's just like what the frick frag diddy patty so yeah it was really nice and then we have this night sky app I love stargazing that's an understatement I just cannot I cannot just go a day without staring at the stars and the moon and every time I see a moon I'm like oh that's a moon so I'm like literally that kind of person so I really needed this app in my life so whenever I am on my terrace or I'm going somewhere where the stars are like very much visible than where I live in my city right now so I just get my phone out and use this app to take a look around and see what is that star called or what is the star called something which gets my attention in the night sky it just lets you know that how many satellites are supposed to be in the sky right now or if you really want to navigate through a particular star this app would do that coming to the books so in books i love these two apps headway is a new edition and now i'm considering to purchase the premium version of this app for the year and basically what headway does is that it creates a 30 to 40 minute summary of the book that you're willing to read so what happens is that sometimes we want to read a book but it consists of like 300 and 400 pages which we don't really have the time to read so just because it creates a 30 to 40 minute summary of that book we get the same amount or the same quality of knowledge that we are supposed to get after reading 300 to 400 pages like isn't it amazing because of this app i am reading more self-help books than i have ever read in my whole life and it has literally changed my mind in a good way so this app is like a must if you're a book lover and then obviously we have kindle currently i'm in the midst of 101 essays that will change the way you think and it's an amazing amazing book and i have actually a lot of ebooks on my kindle library um and i am loving the experience of reading on my iphone 13 these days rather than my kindle because i think that phones are now optimum enough to give your eyes that kind of soothing experience for reading Okay, so now we have social media. This is my Instagram account and I wasn't really that much active on my Instagram for a long time, but now I think that I'm back on Instagram. I'm posting a lot more than I used to. And I've also found uh, my love for like dark aesthetics and stuff on Instagram. And I'm really keeping up with that. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The link is going to be in the description box. And then we have pinterest okay whatsapp is like normal you know that guys and pinterest um i think i love pinterest more than instagram on some level because i think pinterest is much more creative and much more wholesome and it gives much more positive experience of using social media then we have reddit and reddit is like you follow communities there and all facebook i don't really use that much line okay i want to show you guys that I don't really use Line that much except talking to few of 
the people which are like really really close so i love line personally because of the stickers that are on there they're, they're like really really cute and make the conversation much more nicer and much more adorable so these are the stickers i'm showing you guys so just in case you want to leave whatsapp and come online it's like really doable I personally don't like WhatsApp that much because I think that most of the population is on WhatsApp and once you come online you're like bombarded with messages and you're like oh you were online you didn't reply and stuff like that so I don't I'm not really a fan of WhatsApp but I have it on my phone because I know there are some of like people I know who are not on any other messaging platforms so yeah. So the next we have is Twitter and Signal. So Signal I use when I want to share passwords with anyone and Twitter I use when Facebook and Instagram are down. Okay, I'm kidding. So then we have Triller. Triller I downloaded on my phone when TikTok got banned in India. I don't really use it to explore the feed but whenever I post something on my Instagram Reels, I just automatically post it on my Twitter as well. I don't know why I do that. I just do it for some weird reason. Maybe this app will blow up one day. <laughs> then we have Word and in this folder I have put all the apps which are work related first I have IT studio where I see all my YouTube analytics then I have Canva where I design my YouTube thumbnails and stuff like that I also create some of the slides when I want to put something in my YouTube video then I also design my notion cover pages and it's like a really amazing app and then we have notion I know that a lot of you guys have asked for my Notion template by now and I promise that after this video ends I'm gonna create a copy of my template and share it with you all and basically this is what my Notion looks like if you haven't seen it before and I love Notion my whole life is literally on it I journal on my Notion I make lists on my Notion I make a list of the things about me on Notion and there's like my whole life is on it and there's not even a single day that goes by when I am not using Notion. So I cannot really imagine my life without it and that's why I have purchased a premium version of it and I'm using it for a long time now and it's totally worth it. And then we have Milkshake. It's like a link in bio app. I used to use Linktree before this, but it kind of became boring for me. This one is much more aesthetic and much more customizable and looks really, really nice. So like when you will click the link in my bio, you will be presented with this and you will have options to choose from that which link you want to visit. I'm not really dependent on just one link. So this is like really nice. And then we have Planoly. So Planoly is like you can schedule your Instagram Instagram post in there and it will just auto post it without really you needing to be there to post it but I don't really use it for that because it's there in the premium version and I'm not really paying it for it right now so I'm using it just to see then how my post is gonna look in the feed is it gonna look nice and aesthetic is it gonna go with the whole aesthetic of my feed so that's how I use it I upload the post here and I see oh this is how it's gonna look like so yeah now going to the most awaited part photos and videos the first app that we have here is called Vesco and a good thing about Vesco is that when you are editing a picture in Vesco, creating adjustments, applying filters, the good thing is that you can create a recipe out of it and then you can apply that recipe to each and every picture of yours. You don't need to do those adjustments and apply filters individually each and every time. Just apply that recipe and all of those adjustments will be applied in one go and you are done. And then also you can select a picture, you can copy those edits like this and then you can apply those same edits to another picture of yours you don't need to just do that adjustment to another picture by just seeing okay what did you do there all of my instagram pictures originally come from vesco and apply all the edits right there in the app and now we have Kira Kira and this is one app I was so desperate to have back when I didn't have an iPhone. So this app basically what it does is that it creates sparkle effects, you know, like this. And it looks so amazing to me. I don't know why I'm obsessed with sparkles like that in my pictures. So I really love it. So I had to buy it and it has different kind of sparkles and they're like colorful ones and they're like then 
little bit brushed they look a little bit blur and then we have colorful ones and you know they all look very different from each other so you can go for whatever you like you can save it as a picture or you can save it as a video it's all up to you so even if you save it as a picture you have an option to save it as just a picture which where the sparkles won't really move and then you have an option of saving it as kira kira graph where it will be saved as you know with the sparkles will be shining and will be moving so it all looks really really beautiful then the next app that we have is called sparkle cam so this app i recently discovered on app store when i was just looking through any other app that i should be having on my phone and basically what this app does is it applies very subtle sparkles on your picture and also applies filter along with it which looks really really cool and really really nice i really love this app and you don't really need to have a premium version of it a lot of filter on this app are actually free and to remove the watermark once you are done with clicking the picture you just have to watch an ad nothing more than that and there are more filters in this app and to unlock them you gotta have a premium version of it i think i would buy it in the future but for now i'm quite satisfied with the free version of this app then the next app that we have is called pixart i have this app on my phone for i don't know five six years so this app has changed a lot over the years and it has so many aesthetic filters which are like very i would say they are belonging to 90s also then they're like modern filters also they're like crunch filters and you know uh, glitchy filters they have stuff like that and then they have like really aesthetic ones too and you can also apply stickers on this app and that is why i love pixart actually if there is one thing that i love about pixart which i cannot really find in any other app is that you can find aesthetic stickers in this app which is like really cool for instagram stories or stuff like that so this is how the stickers in this app look like you just go to the sticker section you search for anything you are looking for and then you just put it on your photo or just move it around and find a nice place for that and if you're not really liking it then you just remove it but i'm really liking the coffee one for now so this is how it looks you know the sticker looks really cool and there is not any other app that i have found till now which has really cool and aesthetic stickers like that and then the next app that we have is called polar so polar is more like wesco in the department of creating recipes because it also has the recipe thing where you can apply the adjustments and filters to your photos and create a recipe out of it and then you are done and you can apply those same recipes to any of the picture that you have and there is one more cool thing about this app which is that you can import filters in it that other people have created which i think is great for that you just have to go on the import filter thing and i'm going to show you guys how do we do that we go on styles and then we click on import qr code and then we import it in the form of the picture you go to the pinterest and then you search for polar editing codes or like terms like that and then you will see that you will come across a lot of editing codes and you know there will be like qr codes and you will see how these filters are going to look so you import those filters like that into pictures and then you are done and it's a really really cool app i would just say that you just need to have a premium version of one between polar or wesco if you really want to edit your pictures and then we have v l l o and i edit my stories and my reels in v l l o always and i have also edited few of my youtube videos in it it's like a perfect perfect video editing application that i have found till now there are many i have used and there are many in the market which have better reviews than v l l o but i don't know for some reason i stick by it i think it's the best app that i have found till now it's easy to use it has aesthetic stickers also and it has fonts and it's a perfect blend of aesthetics and all the features that you should be having while editing your videos you know so it has all the stuff reducing the speed increasing the speed putting picture in picture having filters the grunge ones and basic ones and then you have 
putting the aesthetic text and the normal text you have the option to put the captions and like it has everything and i'm quite satisfied with this app actually and i used non-paid version of it for a long long time but then i purchased the premium version of it for these 2000 which is for a lifetime and i don't need to pay for it again and i think it's really really worth it i really love those apps where you have to just pay once and then you don't have to pay for them again and you have the ownership of it for like the rest of your life and then we have tessa so tessa i use when i know that okay i'm gonna need a premium version of it i buy a monthly subscription of it i don't have a subscription of it right now but this app is really good so whenever i will need it i will just buy it for one month because i have so many premium versions already of different different apps that i do not really feel a need to spend it on one more app for like a year or something but yeah whenever i need it i just go ahead with it the filters are really nice in here you can create a look of dark aesthetic and then you can create a look of soft and light aesthetic so they're like you know very cool filters in here if you don't really have a premium version of a lot of apps then you can go ahead with it it is really good for creating content for your reels or tiktok if you have it in your country And then these two apps I just recently downloaded. I don't know what is going on with them and I haven't really used them. So I'm not going to review them for you guys. And then we have food, the basic ones. In India, we have Zomato, Swiggy and Super for grocery. So yeah, that is what it is. And I don't think that you guys would want to know that what stuff do I order for my grocery. And then we have the Google, YouTube gmail you know all of that and then we have google drive so only a few months back i started using google drive in a way which has been really really useful for me so with that plus icon you can upload your photos and videos on your google drive and you can share the link of that photos and videos with the people you want to share those photos and videos with and they can download it directly from there which has been really really helpful and then in journaling we have two apps the first one is so so notes this is a really adorable journaling app and you can even track your mood in here on daily basis and this is how the emote icons look like and i have talked about this app in detail in my earlier video i'm going to link it in the description box below so to know more about this app you gotta check that out and now moving on to our next app which is called daygram so this is like one sentence a day kind of journal you add one highlight for the day each and every day in just few words and that's it you are done it just takes hardly two minutes and i'm looking forward to being more active on it because the special thing about it is that when at the end of the day you're looking back at all the memories about the stuff that happened it's just really beautiful and it would be really nice to look at those moments and then i have my finance folder it's a little personal so i'm not gonna open that and then i have my i utilities okay so i have two kind of utilities folder on my iphone one is i utilities in which we have the apps from the iphone like the compass voice recorder and calculator stuff like that and then in the utilities folder i have the apps that i downloaded from app store then in the music folder we have youtube music and spotify i use spotify to listen to the podcast that i love and on youtube music i listen to all the songs that i feel like listening to and then we have the games folder the games in this folder keep on changing actually right now i'm fond of stumble upon and call of duty so i have these two on my phone right now then i have my shopping folder and we have zara daily objects where i get my covers from and then i have nika where I get all my skincare stuff from and then I have Amazon obviously, then Mintra, H&M, Urbanic and Geo, where I buy the Muji stationery from. So these are all my shopping apps. The Amazon one is obviously the most frequently used one and then we have the utilities folder and here I have the first app which is called iWidgets and i'm going to talk about it later then i have indian post i have this on my phone because all these small businesses which work on instagram they use indian post so i have it on my phone to track my parcels and then we have think dirty so this app is like i think it's must have especially for people who are into skincare regimes and makeup and stuff like that so what happens is that you look for any makeup or skincare product on there and then you get to know about how clean is that product right so for example i have this l'oreal shampoo here and i would get to know that how many products are bad or are clean or are like mediocre so the red one is like the dirtiest one the 
yellow one is like okayish and the green one are like clean products i mean the clean ingredients so you get to know about the product you are actually buying and i have recently started being very aware about the products i'm using on my face and on my hairs and stuff like that so it makes you really conscious and then we have these important apps this has my important mail id and driving license saved and stuff like that so let's leave it and then i have my inspo folder in this i have first app which is called we hearted i'm not really an active user of this application but i love using it as a person who really explores that what other people are creating because that's why i have kept it on my phone it's a highly creative platform a lot of people don't really know about it um, but it's when i feel like not really inspirational and i don't know what i should be doing like what kind of pictures should i be clicking and what kind of layouts should i be forming when i am clicking my pictures i come on we hearted and i see that what other people have done and it inspires me a lot people on we hearted are highly creative and then we have tumblr so i have tried using this app a lot of times in my life i really want to be an active user there but i don't know it just doesn't happen so now i am really happy here as an anonymous user who explores what other people are really up to when it comes to creativity so i have followed some beautiful beautiful accounts in there and i look at their stuff i see what they have done and people are highly creative here as well even more than we hearted and even if tumblr is not really a thing right now in 2021 or it might not be in 2022 but still i think it has its own niche and people here are creating amazing stuff which really wants me to be active there uh, this is the number one reason i really want to be on tumblr but right now i just don't have that kind of time and then we have widgets i have kept these apps on my phone because i use them as widgets because their widgets are like highly aesthetic so this first one is called emo and this is a mood tracking app i'm not using it as a mood tracking app right now because i already have a mood tracking app which is called mooda so i use it just as a widget in my phone if i want to right now i'm not using it but i'm going to show you guys that how it actually works so you just tap like that and you find the emo app here and you select that and then you will select a layout like what kind of widget do you want and once you're done you will see that the emote icons of your moods will appear here which look really nice and aesthetic but this app is like really really nice it's just that i'm not using it at a current point of time so i might use it in future though then we have what to so this is a to-do list app which is highly aesthetic as well so what happens is that you go to this app and it will just appear with a to-do list in the widget and once i will open the app you will just see what i'm talking about why is it highly aesthetic so you add a task in there for example my task is i want to watch a movie so what you will do is you will type watch a movie today and then you will set the urgency bar of your task like you want to be a slacker there or is it like it can be done anytime you want or you want to do it as soon as possible so it really depends on that and it's like really nice and cute so then the next app that we have for the widgets is memong I have used this app a lot for creating my memo entries or even journal entries. So it has different different kinds of templates. Uh, it has memo, to do list, food list, expenses list, and it also has notes and memo kind of templates, which are like really simple. You just add text in there. So I already have one memo ready. So I will just show you how the widget of this app looks like. So once you add the widget, you will be prompted to select the widget size. I will select the smallest one because it looks the most adorable. And then we will select that what kind of note do we want to show. up in here i have already one note so it, well, that's the only option i have and it will show here like this and it looks really adorable i have talked about this app before in my earlier videos i will link that video in the description box below just in case you want to check it out and now moving on to the next part of our video which is proper like 
into the widgets so the first widget i have on the screen is muda and then i have notes widget and then i have forest widget and then i have the notion widget and here i have the i widgets and then i have pinterest widget and then i have spotify widget and these both are the pinterest widgets now let me show you guys that how did i create the widget on my first screen using the i widget apps so this is the widget I'm talking about here. So we will go to the iWidgets app that I left for the end of the video. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to show you guys how my widget looks like here. And this is my widget that I have created. So we will go to the template that I have selected for the widget. This is the one. So you will open it and you will select the pictures that you want to show up. You can change them and you can also change the background color. I have changed the background color to brown. This is why it looks like that. It goes with my aesthetics of the phone. So I chose that one and then you save it. And after you're done saving, your widget will just show up here. And then what you do is you go to the home screen and add that widget and that's it. You will be sorted. And this is my daily reminder widget that was on my screen. And yeah, this is how I created both the widgets on my iWidgets. And the daily reminder widget I created by just uploading one picture. And that's it. It was just like I replaced this big picture and put the daily reminder picture in place of that. And that was how I created it. Let me just show you one example of that. And this is the size that i chose for my widgets and then you are prompted to choose which widget do you want to show here and that's it this is how it is done i'm going to relate it for right now and now we're going to move on to the next widget reminders we have talked about and then i have my photo widget i have used the photo widget app for that let's go back to the utilities folder this is the app that i left for talking about it later and here this is like the best app for creating an aesthetic look on your phone because it has the most aesthetic widgets ever and it provides its own picture and the good part is that this app is like free you just have to watch ads in there and that's it i know that sometimes ads are not really the things we want to watch but come on you cannot really complain when they are giving you something in free so yeah and you create a widget in there by clicking on photos and then this is one widget that i created earlier and this is my another widget that i'm using right now i have uploaded pictures in there according to my choice and once you're done creating the album of those particular set of pictures that you want to display on your widget screen then that's it i'm just gonna show you how it is done so I'm just gonna upload four pictures in there and I'm gonna show you how I created the widget. So you go again where you have the space to create a widget and you click on add icon, you select the photo widget and then you choose the size of your widget and then it really prompted to select the album that you should have for showing up on your widget screen. The album name was album three, I guess. So this is what it looks like now it will keep changing on regular intervals and this is how your phone will be looking really nice and cute now i'm gonna show you guys how do i use my notes widget on my phone so what i do is i have just put this daily reminder on this thing and i pin this note and whenever you actually create a new note that's the thing that visible on the widget section so what you have to do is you just type in a letter and then delete it back again then it will be the last updated one so the last updated note is what is visible on your widget screen so that's why i keep it like a little updated and then i'm gonna show you how to create a pinterest widget so i choose the smallest size for that and then what i do is i go to the edit widget and then i choose the user like i have on my personal account on pinterest so i use that for having widgets on my phone it's my personal one so i have created boards like that on that account so i chose that and i choose that board and that's it that board pictures will show up here and it's really nice all of the pinterest widgets that that I have I have created like that I have created boards on my Pinterest like this so that I can use them as my iPhone widgets so that's how using Pinterest widgets is also really cool 
so guys that was it for today's video let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions regarding the apps or the widgets that i have shown in the video the link for all the apps and the widgets will be in the description box below and i will see you guys in my next video bye